Alright guys, hey everyone, this is Scorpion from How To Do and I'm back. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to add the touch button in here to do something. Alright, so I will just make it really simple. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see what I have to do. Uh -huh. Film Storm Touch. Touch buttons. Okay. So you have to go to the assets. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm continuing the previous video. Alright, so if you don't know what I'm doing, go ahead, click the link in the description box below and see the previous video. So in which we were able to uh, make this guy. Make this guy move around. Alright, with joysticks. And we can also look around. We can jump and do that stuff. And that's really awesome. So, yeah. So now what we want to do is we want to go to the Filmstorm third person system. Go in the Filmstorm touch. Where is it? Filmstorm touch system. Go to touch controls and go to prefabs and there you will find these things. Alright, so just go ahead and drag and drop the button uh, onto the canvas. Where is it? Canvas. There we go. And here's the button one. Alright, so let's just press F. There we go. Here is the button so let me just bring it somewhere over here all right and i will call this guy where is it i will call it uh you can use anything i want to give you the idea how to use this button so let's just say lift all right and let's just change it to something like that to just change it all right so you can change this from here and you can also change the color if you want uh, there we go all right change the color so that's the basics and then you have to change the button name I will call it lift again L I F T lift and then you have to go ahead and say edit project settings and input and you have to uh, tell you have to add that uh, you know the name inside over here so let's just call it the same lift and do not do anything over here so yeah now what you need to do is you need to just copy this guy control C and come back to your player system player model delete that I haven't deleted in previous video alright so come to your actual player press F here this is the player and go to your movement system and in here we can actually add the button alright so let me just close everything up for you guys to see what's actually happening in here okay there we go so the film storm guy has actually done a lot of work you see he is really awesome guy so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and say film storm so let's say film storm get button down Alright, film storm input get button down. So whenever you see film storm input, which means the touch system. Alright, so let's say get button down. The button name is the same which we set over there. So control C, control V, uh, which is lift. Alright, and let's just go ahead and say new event. I will call it lift the box. So I'm using this button, which will be this guy right here, green by. And when we click this guy, this box will lift up alright so that's what we want if we click that guy so that will give you the basic idea how to use this uh, film storm touch system alright so you have to just go ahead and say control C copy this last one paste it over here and paste it over here and add the transitions lift the box add the transition lift the box and put it over there in this state and in this state I want to say um, I don't know move towards I guess the game object will be the specific game object which is this box right here it's called cube one go back to here cube one and the target object will be uh, let's just create an empty over here pull it over there and go back to here and say that finish distance will be zero so that it it goes up and up and forever and yeah that's it so let me just check if that works so we can run around BAM you can see that it actually works so it's as simple as it sounds alright as simple as it sounds so you can just go ahead and say BAM and it works 
so you can use uh, you can use this science to <laughs> this this kind of science to do the all stuff and if you want to learn something like uh, how to enter and exit the, uh, the, uh, the car and do that stuff you can go ahead click the link in the description box below and you can link that GTA tutorial series with this one alright and you can actually do that stuff so whenever you find the get button down you have to just replace it with the film storm input get button down and you are good to go alright so that actually work that will actually work alright so bam and there you go he he, he you see the box goes up so that's the basic science if you want me to make some other tutorials on how to make the android games or something like that you can go ahead and leave some comments below if you like this go and uh, this video go ahead and give me thumbs up and if you want you can also uh, donate me some money through paypal the link for my paypal is in the description box below and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video so a uh, little quick tip how to remove this outline because i hate it so go ahead and go to gizmos and say select outline and disable that and that will do it <laughs> so that was really simple really simple thing and let me just see if there is some problem in here uh, play it no not actually but sometimes you can see there are states boxes appearing it said state one it's saying state two all right so why that happened is that because in play where is it playmaker gui this guy is enabled so you have to just disable all of these all right so disable all of these to make sure that there is no box appearing of the state one state two and signifying all that stuff so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did go and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video till then be cool